Well, hey there, it's Wild Dandelion Jen, and I've got my bib apron on, my soper sleeves, my protective eyewear, and we're ready to go. I've got my oils melted in butters, and then I've got my lye water cooled down to the same even temperature. And then to this oil, I'm gonna add a little bit of orris root and zinc powder. I'd like to lighten that up a little, and I'd like the essential oils to maintain their fragrance. So. We'll add that, get this just emulsified, and then we'll add the lye water. This has got goat milk in it. It's gonna be a beautiful spa bar. And this again is my third bar in the collection of four for the health store in California. So I've tweaked my original recipe on the spa bar and it's gonna be just decadent, lovely, refining and nourishing for the skin. So I've got a tuss of silk in here. I've got a little bit of clay, and this is Fuller's Earth is the clay, and I thought that would be really nice for a spa bar. And in the end product, we're gonna add a little bit of coconut core for some nice exfoliation. So we'll just get these blended, and then I'm gonna divide them off into three different batches, and then we'll color those. There'll be four total. So we'll just divide these up. I'm doing a voiceover because my husband was in the house watching TV fairly loudly, and so I just decided to do a voiceover for this particular video. I try to do this when he's outside because it's distracting to hear the TV and a lot of rustling, so uh, this was the better way today for sure. So the powders that I have is some blue-green algae. And then I have some cacao powder. We have some maca root and some indigo. These will be beautiful spa colors. And then I'm gonna fragrance those with essential oils. We're gonna have lavender, eucalyptus, peppermint, and a little lemongrass. And I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla to the lemongrass just to soften that up a bit. So we'll get all these powders mixed in, adding just a little bit more until I get the color that I really would like to have. So we'll have a blue, a dark green, a chocolate brown, and a cream. This will be a spa and a bathtub or shower for sure. And that's my cocoa core. That'll give a nice, soft, gentle exfoliation. Now we'll add the essential oils. Mm, smelling so good, just like a spa. I absolutely love spa fragrances and things that nourish the skin, polish the skin, feed the skin, and moisturize. It's so nice, especially with winter coming. You definitely need that spa experience, or at least I do. The skin thanks me for it. I'll get those blended in, and then I'm gonna pour them all into one container so I have a nice little swirl, and then I'm going to stick those in a massage, a massage finger spa bar mold. I think that'll play really nicely with the spa theme because you're going to be able to help invigorate the skin, get the lymph flowing, and then also uh, working with the muscle tissues and sinews for breaking down cellulite. This is going to be a full spa experience. And I think the people in the desert are absolutely, absolutely going to love this. A spa experience is really big out there. There's a few hot spring spas and stuff down in Palm Springs, which is not too far. But hey, if you could go to the health store and grab your spa experience at a fraction of the price, why not? And then you can go home and enjoy that in your own bathtub or shower. There we go. And so I will bring you back for the unveiling. We're going to top these off with some corn flour, some calendula petals, and lavender petals. 
and that'll just make it look nice and herby. I also had some green tea with lemongrass as part of my base to the lye water along with some aloe vera and then I had the goat milk. So this is just going to lavish the skin with decadence and luxury and definitely that spa experience. So I will top these off, spray them with a little bit of alcohol, and then I will unmold those and show you the finished product at the very end of the video. And I do have some spa bars on my website without the goat milk, they're vegan, and that you'll find at wilddandelionsoaps.com or Etsy, Rock and Spirit, or Wild Dandelion Soaps, LLC. So with that, God bless, make it a great day, and watch for the next video. It's something brand new. You can see I tried to pop these spa bars out of the mold, and they were still a little bit soft on the finger side, so it didn't turn out so well. So I left them a couple more days. I just put these in the freezer for a little over an hour, a couple hours. So let's see if that did the trick. So as you can see, all those seemed to break for the most part of the little fingers. So what I will do is just shim those off and just make oval bars out of them and they will be just fine. So we will save them and still be able to sell them just perfectly. I'll show you after I do the trimming.